There's gummies, a mint, six different types of chocolate. There's even this tea bag and a chocolate cookie. These are the edible cannabis products which will be sent out to licensed retailers beginning on Monday. Now this is a limited number of products. There's going to be more coming, though Ontario believes that this gives them a distinct advantage over the illegal market. I believe all the new product categories um, will allow the legal market to have a competitive edge against uh, the illegal market. At today's press conference, the Ontario Cannabis Store was full of rosy outlooks and high expectations for edibles. Though the first year of legal marijuana sales across the country totaled around $1 billion. The illegal market is estimated to have hauled in between 5 to $7 billion. Here in Ontario, there was a supply issue. And when it comes to these new cannabis treats that will be sent out to licensed stores on Monday, there is expected to be another slow roll. It's about producing these in mass quantities. There's a huge demand uh, and it takes time, just like it did uh, in the early days when it comes to packaging products, etc. In an effort to compete with the black market, the Ontario Cannabis Store says they reduced the price of 50 marijuana products that were initially offered last year. As for these edibles, the base price of a tier chocolate is around seven bucks and goes up north of fifteen dollars on the high end. Health Canada has also put a cap on how much THC each edible package can contain. Ten milligrams is the max. Illegal stores sell edible products with a much higher potency. What I get is thirty milligrams, it's a little heavier. I mean, I don't take a lot of it. You'd be more inclined to go to the illegal market. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Though the OCS and producers are banking on the quality of these edibles to win over consumers and take a bite out of the illegal market. In October, City News received a tour of Canopy Growth's plant in Smith Falls. They're pumping out chocolate bars there at a Willy Wonka scale. But it was the multiple marijuana beverages that include cannabis spirits that could set them apart from the black market. These cannabis drinks that will be released in a matter of months don't have any alcohol, can be enjoyed similar to a traditional gin and tonic or a beer, but without the traditional hangover. The infusion of cannabis at this scale, um, with this level of sophistication, doesn't exist anywhere in the world. Uh, we think over time this is going to be a, a disruptive and, and major product for this market. For now, the selection of edible products will be limited, but more are coming. They're expected to hit shelves at licensed stores by the end of next week. If there's any left, they'll also be available online at the OCS website starting January 16th. There's 59 products in total being rolled out from edibles to multiple vapes. Now, other than the tea, there's no other beverages being released just yet. Those are expected to hit the market in late February or early March. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.